Do you know how scientists record local earthquakes without shaking their equipment? Let's talk about seismographs, the incredible instruments used to detect and record ground motions in the Earth's surface caused by earthquakes and volcanic activity. The first ground motion detectors. In 132 CE, Chinese astronomer and mathematician Zhang Heng created the first known earthquake detector. Zhang Heng's seismoscope took the shape of a large base surrounded by dragons, with frogs at the base. When the ground moved, a ball would fall out of a dragon's mouth into a frog, making a noise. The first seismograph. Fast forward to 1875, when Italian physicist Filippo Secchi built the first seismograph. This early model featured pendulums that activated a clock and a recording device to measure the duration of an earthquake. What is a seismograph? So, what exactly is a seismograph? Simply put, a seismograph is a recording device that scientists use to measure earthquakes. Its goal is to accurately record seismic waves during a quake. If you live in a city, you may have noticed the ground shaking when a big truck or a subway train rolls by. To avoid such data pollution, good seismographs are isolated in seismograph stations and connected to bedrock. The challenges of seismographs. But what's the challenges? So the main challenge in creating a seismograph is that when the ground shakes, so does the instrument. Therefore, most seismographs involve a pendulum of some sort. Imagine a simple seismograph, a large weight hanging from a rope over a table. Attach a pen to the weight and tape a piece of paper to the table so the pen can draw on the paper. This setup could record tremors in the Earth's crust. If you used a roll of paper and a motor that slowly pulled the paper across the table, you could record tremors over time. However, it would take a pretty large tremor for you to see anything. In a real seismograph, levers or electronics magnify the signal so very small tremors are detectable. A big mechanical seismograph might have a weight attached that weighs 1,000 pounds, 450 kilograms, or more, driving a set of levers that significantly magnify the pen's motion. Types of seismographs. Let's investigate further and find out how many types there are. Seismographs come in different types. Short period seismographs pick up the high frequency seismic waves of local earthquakes, while long period seismographs measure the lower frequency waves of more distant earthquakes. Massive earthquakes may trigger strong motion seismographs, which magnify seismic activity to a much lesser degree. Now, let's talk about the types of seismic waves to understand it more clearly. There are two types, body waves and surface waves. Body waves include P and S waves, which interact with the surface of the Earth to create surface waves. P waves, or primary waves, are longitudinal waves. They move back and forth, like a coiled spring that has been compressed and then released. S waves, or secondary waves, are transverse waves, moving up and down like ripples of water. Seismograph versus seismometer, what's the difference? After knowing the types of seismic waves you might be wondering, what's the difference between a seismograph and a seismometer? Both measure seismic activity, but a seismograph has the ability to record the seismic data. The word, graph, comes from the Greek, graphos, meaning to write. This recording is called a seismogram. Early seismographs recorded ground oscillations on an analog surface like photographic paper or magnetic tape, but today's seismographs are often digital. What is the Richter scale? Another term you've probably heard is the Richter scale. The Richter scale is a standard scale used to compare earthquakes. It's logarithmic, meaning that the numbers on the scale measure factors of 10. For example, an earthquake that measures 4.0 on the Richter scale is 10 times larger than one that measures 3.0. On the Richter scale, anything below 2.0 is undetectable to a normal person and is called a microquake. Microquakes occur constantly. Moderate earthquakes measure less than 6.0 or so, while earthquakes measuring more than 6.0 can cause significant damage. And there you have it, a deep dive into the world of seismographs, seismic waves, and the Richter scale. These instruments and measurements are crucial for understanding and responding to the powerful natural phenomena of earthquakes. Thanks for joining us on this journey through seismic science. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe to Physics Daily, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating insights into the world of science and technology. Until next time, stay curious.